Hello, ghouls and gals. Welcome back to Cafe Crashdown. I am Kayla here, the host of Cafe Crashdown, aka The Crash Hub. And today we are celebrating summer rain. That is right. Today we are talking about my top five shutter favorites for the month of July and definitely feeling that summer wing vibe. I can't wait to chat about it, so let's roll that intro. Hey there, my dudes. Welcome back to the Crash Hub. Like I said before, we are talking about my five picks from Shudder for this month, and I'm really excited about these. I totally went for the summer vibes. Uh, we've got some lake action. We've got some monsters. We got a little bit of a slasher in there. We've got a nice wide variety. So I definitely think this is gonna be a great month for you to pop that popcorn, lay and chill on the couch and dive into some super awesome films on Shudder. And if you're watching this video and you're wondering what the heck is Shudder? Well, have you been living under a rock? No, I'm just kidding. So Shudder is a horror streaming service under AMC and they have some incredible content for horror fans. They've got television shows and original content that they create. For example, Creep Show has made their home on Shudder and you get a lot of really cool AMC exclusives as well. Sometimes they like they were showing an uh, interview with a vampire first season on there and other various shows. But the thing that I really love about Shudder is the curated playlist that they have for what kind of subgenre are you looking into for horror? If you're needing a really good slasher, they've got a category for you. If you're more into the occult and witches or uh, paranormal, satanic stuff, they've got categories for that. Whatever you're looking for, for your horror watching, they definitely have it. And they've got a lot of really great B movies, aspiring actors, aspiring directors who are using amazing practical effects and just really having fun with the genre. So if you don't have Shudder, I would highly recommend it. You can get it by subscribing to AMC Plus or you can just subscribe to Shudder itself and just only get Shudder content. That is totally up to you. Now, we're going back to the people who do have Shudder and you guys are looking for some really awesome picks to have fun for July. So let's talk about these films. So first up, we have a Mexican film. It is Death on a Beach. Obviously it has a different title, but I am not gonna pronounce it because I will just look really ridiculous. So I'm gonna put that at the bottom there that you can find it. This was made in 1991. So you have this guy, he's the son of a wealthy businesswoman and he went to boarding school, he came back and he's dealing with this whole issue of being homosexual and that he doesn't know you know really how to deal with it and he's got a lot of emotions and uh, attractions going along with it and his mother is absolutely terrible so having killed a teacher that had previously abused him that trauma has carried over and now he's just into killing so this is just very much a classic slasher you've got some nudity in this so if you're looking for some fun nudity here you go full front frontal nude action it's a bit light on the gore but you've got the all these beaches you've got it's very 90s vibes right so you've got like guys in speedos and there's kind of slow burns here and there in this film but overall i think it's a it's a really great way to set the tone on your summer ween movie uh watch fest and one of the things i really like about this film is the open conversations about homosexuality especially during this time so next up on my list, I have Lake Bodum. All right, I had to go with some lake vibes because I know a lot of people are gonna go with like Crystal Lake and you know, Friday the 13th and Jason and all that, but nope, we are doing something completely different. We are diving into a Scandinavian film and this was a really fun film, honestly. It is, you know, 60 years ago, you had this murder that took, took place by this lake and so years later, you have a group of people who decide to go back to this lake to try to figure out this crime. So they're like trying to solve this urban legend. And so they're recreating the crime scene and you know, the killer has never been caught. But of course, conveniently, as these people are like recreating the crime scene and stuff like that, what happens? 
the killer shows up. So you have very much this like slasher, uh, I know what you did last summer vibes of like a guy like standing in the road. And you have these really hot people who are like trying to, you know, fend for themselves and, you know, survive this craziness up by this lake. And so this film was shot so well. I love the cinematography of this. I think it had some really fantastic shots in it. It also has this like really cool like pop synth vibe like going on and like the music score underneath, which gets you like, oh yeah, like this is cool. And you're just like vibing with it totally. I think the characters are fun. You get a little bit of like backstory of like some of these guys in school and like, you know, what they're dealing with there and how that like has moved over into this situation. So when I read, I was also like wanting to read the description of us. The way that they describe it is, uh, you know, and basically it's like girls against guys and let the killing games begin. So, I mean, if that doesn't get you jazzed up enough to watch this video, I don't know what will. So next up, I had to go with this whole houseboat vibe, you know, out on the water, summer, you know what I mean? And so here we have houseboat horror. I had to do it, super campy, Australian. It's it's everything that you need, okay? It's got the campy jargon mixed with the ridiculous practical effects and ridiculous kills, which we just absolutely love. So basically to sum it up, you have this rock band and you know, they're out on this houseboat in the middle of nowhere in this lake and a crazy lunatic decides to sneak in onto this boat. And then of course things happen. It definitely feels, uh, low budget but I also I find appreciation in that I think a lot of films what I love about horror and especially when it is low budget or appears to be low budget is how they get creative with the budget that they have am I right so uh it's always just really fun just to see especially these like early years with like these like kill scenes and stuff like that and just like how creative they get with it and with with the practical effects and stuff like that so i think this fun this film in general is really fun for that so yes we've got a campy slasher out on a boat in the water got a guy killing people it's very over dramatic a lot of campy jargon next up we have 1978's piranha i of course had to go there and you know i have to add that scare factor for all of you people you know getting out in the lakes and in the ocean am i right so let's get some you know flesh eating fish to come attack you so it's pretty self-explanatory you have these flesh eating piranhas that are unleashed onto all of these resorts and they are attacking people this is one of those that i was watching or i you know i put it in and i wasn't expecting to like it but i had so much fun watching it like listen it's bloody it's absolutely ridiculous and it just it made me smile as i was watching this film the final scene is literally a bug bath so i mean what else i mean listen i'm giving you these that are like it's hitting every mark like if you had a priority list of what your summer ween movie fest is going to be like we are checking all the boxes here okay so don't worry we've got the blood bath thing going on people being eaten alive in the water um you name it so to me this is a nice replacement for jaws i think a lot of people watch jaws during the summer which sure jaws is fine you know it's classic but i feel like this one's a little bit more fun so definitely give it a watch and let me know what you think and finally my last pick of the day is alligator yeah i totally went for another monster living underneath to come, you know, basically like eat you and attack you. I just think it's fun. I think it's fun for our summer ween vibe. So I went there. Basically to sum up the story, you have a baby alligator that was flushed down a toilet. So he gets into the sewers and to survive, he starts like eating these like lab animals that like have been disposed of and they're injected with all these crazy hormones, which then, you know, of course the alligator consumes and then he becomes like, super big and intense and you know he's ready for revenge so it's very like lake placid meets alien meets uh friday the 13th 
eight when Jason's in Manhattan kind of vibe. So like if that sets the scene for you, that's what you're getting with this film. You have a lot of memorable characters in this and a lot of really fun practical effects. I'm a practical effects nerd. So anytime I see really great uses, uh, even ridiculous uses of practical effects, I'm totally there. So you definitely have a lot of that of, you know, the alligator just like eating these people whole and like, it's just ridiculous. So that is it, you guys. Those are my five picks for July, kind of kicking off some Marween. And don't worry, in August, I'm going to have five more picks and we're still going to continue on the train of summer ween. So don't worry, you're going to get more, but at least you have five now that you can totally dive into. And let me know your thoughts on these. Did you watch any of these? And if so, what are your thoughts? Did you enjoy them or did you just absolutely have to turn it off? And you're like, I can't, Kayla, I can't go down that road. I totally understand. It is fine. But definitely let me know in the comments if you checked any of these films out. And if you like this video, if you wouldn't mind, please give me a like, a little thumbs up to share some love. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to be a part of my weird Crash Hub community. So definitely hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss it when I put out new videos. I am starting to put out videos weekly and I talk about all things that are horror and sci-fi. So each week you never really know what you're gonna get, whether it's uh, horror focused or if it's uh, sci-fi focused. I just got off the uh, Doctor Who train and reviewing that. So I will be diving into some other aspects of sci-fi but I will also be diving into a little bit more Doctor Who as well on top of getting into some more horror aspects that I can't wait to talk about with you guys so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that you have a very awesome summerween take care guys mm -hmm.